Hello everyone and welcome to an Impossible Creatures replay commentary. It is your host Bchamp and I'm going to be going over a, a 2v2 game on Hillfort. We're playing on Tellurian 2.4.2 and I thought we had some uh, interesting play here so I wanted to go over some of it. So uh, Hillfort is a pretty unique map because of your starting coal as well as just the shape of the map makes it uh, difficult to get to, to this big Let's amount of coal at the beginning and there are only so many entry points it was really good for fencing uh, and it's slow to get units around most of the map anyway here i am in purple on the bottom right i am teamed up with uh, puglin or will he's in green then i have in red here steve or trombone stilts who is going to be partnered up with uh, Buddyus or Logan, who's down here in Cyan at the bottom left of the map. So um, you can see that everyone is doing roughly the same uh, one rod strategy. And over here, you can. Uh, well, I guess we missed it. I made a mistake that I guess we won't have to highlight. But um, looks like Ready, team with Buddyus and Steve right now are both going over to do something sneaky with their henchmen we're gonna see what that will be uh whereas me i decide to go into the water head towards uh buddy's base or possibly this geyser here so buddy is uh fencing off this area and so see if you fence off here on hill fort then you can see how i'm not able to get up through this pathway to get to this coal to get to any of these geysers or get to the middle unless I actually go all the way around up through here so it take a long time to get there so you can see will makes a kind of mistake here he starts following Steve's Ready scouting boy. henchman uh, but then gives up and goes over here and Steve is able to get up a uh, creature chamber in the meantime so I'm sending my scout over and I sneak right past this area of the map and buddy is his base Usually there's, they don't have very good vision here, opponent stones. I will pause here for a moment to see if he's seen me. I don't see any henchmen chasing me, so I assume that I'm in the clear. So I start building a creature chamber. This is going to be a very dangerous attack. In the meantime, I've also started to expand here. Steve has decided to expand at his own base. Here's something that you can do on a health fort. Because of this long travel distance for your henchmen to get to this coal, some people would want to shorten that travel distance by putting up a uh, workshop between. Steve has already set up his attack on Will initially, and um, Will, who's my partner in green here, is going to start fighting back with his henchmen, which do a decent job. In the meantime, he's building a creature chamber over yonder. I've started setting up uh, my second creature chamber. I feel pretty good resources-wise about that. And uh, then start after I have three chameleons, go and start attacking Buddyus. Buddyus up here, he has one creature chamber that he's expecting to try to defend mid, uh, but then now he's distracted. He does not have a creature chamber at his base since he built that creature chamber up there, up top. And now I have two creature chambers that are pumping out a lot of pretty powerful ranged units. Uh, one thing about henchmen, when you use henchmen to defend and fight, you have to shift and right click to keep attacking, or else they will stop attacking after one of the units that they killed is gone. So uh, if we want to do a comparison here, we have these, uh, looks like baboon frogs, which have 5 damage against zebra frogs, which do 7 damage. These baboon frogs have do have pack hunter though, so that helps them in larger groups. Over here, Steve did get up a creature chamber in his ally's base, in Logan's base. So a popular strategy is whenever uh, your ally is under attack, you want to build a creature chamber in their base, your allies' henchmen can actually build that creature chamber, and then uh, you, they, you can help them out by producing double the units, especially because clearly Buddyus here is not uh, collecting very much coal. All of his coal collection is coming from over here. So this does not look very good for Buddyus at the moment. In the meantime, we can switch back here, see what's going on. Will's using a lot of his henchmen to help attack since he's unable to produce units quite fast enough. Uh, but he's really, really losing out on his resource collection right now. So very slow gathering resources. And uh, running henchmen away is kind of tough because the ranged units can still attack him 
as they run away. So down here, I'm going after uh, Buddy's expansion to attack his henchman here. It looks like he's going to send his uh, henchman up to possibly go and secure middle. He's building a few uh, units of his own up in mid as well. So here, I'm not doing a good thing. Um, well, I'm actually expecting a, to kill Buddyus here, but really should make sure everything's destroyed before attacking his lab. I wasn't really uh, microing my units well enough to make sure they didn't go for lab. Uh, then I get distracted over here because Will messages me asking for help. Uh, I decide that I'm going to help build creature chambers in his base. So I initially, sorry, I initially built two up here, but they were pretty immediately destroyed, so I had to build two back here. You can see his henchman is working on it right now. Then I des decide this is uh, might not doesn't look very good, so I'm going to send units uh, that were attacking Buddyus' base and send them up to Steve's base. And so uh, this way, I'll put pressure on his lab, so he might have to retreat his units to go and defend himself. Once this creature chamber is up, I'm starting to build units from it. You can see here these units uh, were chasing down Buddy's henchman. He's starting to build um, some stuff up in mid so he can collect more resources. He's also repairing his lab as I'm taking it out. I, I didn't know he had this middle part here, so I'm just trying to slowly um, make sure he's unable to help Steve. Steve, in the meantime, is being attacked at his base, and he has no idea. He's really just paying attention. All of his focus is over here. Um, as he's trying to finish off Will, and I'm trying to defend my, my, my teammates. And uh, so this is really actually hurts Steve's uh, supply a lot in his, his resource collection. He is building sound beam towers to fight against my creature chambers. So one thing that is a good strategy a lot of times is to build sound beam towers very close to enemy creature chambers and that way the moment the creatures come out they are immediately being attacked by the sound beam towers slow down damage is being done uh, it's a very good strategy um, but I just had too many units at the time and I also will have some henchmen here you can use to attack the sound beam towers as well So you can see here, again, I'm not really paying too much attention to these units. I shouldn't really be attacking his lab. Uh, once I do notice, then I start going for his lightning rods, going for his henchmen, other things. We want to make sure that before you destroy your enemy's lab, that they are completely um, kind of unable to defend. They don't have any resources left. You've completely destroyed every other part of them, if you can. Uh, and so here I realize that... Or, uh, Will mentions that Buddyus has mid, and so we're going to send some stuff up towards him for that. I've started mining at his base, uh, partially because it's nice to have the resources, and I thought that I was going to uh, destroy his lab earlier, but also partially because I think it's pretty funny when you start mining at somebody's base before they're actually dead. Um, here, it, we're just starting to finish off uh, Steve and, and Buddyus both, so... Uh, really, once we go in and, and take mid, then uh, we're going to be done with this game. So you can see I have more units going up towards mid. Steve has some units as well. Um, but this is basically game over. So a few things to wrap up here. Um, with this, it was really just this uh, sneaky henchman that was able to get around here to these creature chambers um, that helped win the game as and it really put buddies out of commission so um and then, and then i guess up here will did a good job of stalling long enough for me to build additional creature chambers and then uh, help defend him so make sure that whenever you are in um team battles partner battles definitely um help out your partner and uh, try interesting tactics as well be communicating with them so you guys can be a more cohesive unit and hopefully win the game. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. It's a pretty fun, uh, pretty fun game to play. And uh, watch again um, some other videos. Yeah. <laughs>